Hi guys, welcome back to Morant's Rants. Plenty of good information, a little bit of motivation, a whole lot of truth, no financial advice. I want to touch on something right now because I know we're looking at markets, guys, and this whole world's burning down. And you would look at the SPY, which is down already a thousand points this fiscal year. Additionally, the Dow's dropping a thousand points every damn day. And then you look at something like GameStop that's up 65% from the all time low this year. So one stock is actually outperforming the whole damn market, and it's us. We know that part. But in addition to that, cryptocurrency burning off in a macroeconomic state like it is right now, crypto's had crypto winters, but we've always had a bull market. We now have a bear market. So in a bearish market and crypto burning off together, the planet's aligning for you. Who owns crypto, guys? Institutions own crypto, not individuals. I promise you, that was gone about 2017. Now institutions own this damn thing, and they are controlling the liquidity within it. You now you know why you're down to 22k. Now you know why reverse repo rates are 2.2 trillion dollars. This is this is a never happening event, like as in it'll never happen again type deal. Yeah, we're watching it crash in real time. But what are we doing to combat that? Well, I'm buying and holding. That's all I'm doing, and I love the company I'm invested with. We have a different leadership. We have a different style. We our retail investors are diamond handed. Yes, but more so than that, don't you love this? Three million shares traded back and forth today. We're up from a from a bottom of 116 all the way to a top of 128. A $12 flex in there in between. This is wild, man. Wild that if you don't invest and you don't love this stock, I don't know what you're doing with your time. But the effort we put in, the time we put in is going to pay you back handsomely. I don't know when. I don't have a date. But I have a lot of catalysts in front of me. Catalysts that have not happened yet. And when those catalysts happen and you see what's happening upon this market, it's going to be fun to look at. Maybe it's in a year from now. Maybe it's in two years or three or five. I don't care. I will still be here. And I'm proud to say that. But guys, enjoy days like today when everything's crumbling around you. Yesterday, everything sold off a thousand points on the SPY from, from this fiscal year. You have a thousand points a day on the Dow. Everything's burning but us. Feels great. It's GameStop, guys. Enjoy tomorrow. I know the Fed's going to announce 75 basis points. Supposedly, everybody's talking about it. They're prepping you. They're, they're actually trying to price it in right now on this market. It's scary. It's scary for a lot of people because when those rates go up, I believe um, homes right now are at six points, 6%. Guys, I remember when they were 7%. And this is like in 2008, 2007, that time frame. Nobody, nobody's buying homes off of interest. So it doesn't matter how high it goes. There's nothing but cash buyers right now. So don't let these headlines confuse you with what you're really looking at. You're looking at someone who's trapped. They have no way out. And all you have to do is buy and hold. That's it. I don't care what you're buying and holding, guys. I wish you the best of luck on anything you buy and hold. Me personally, I hold GameStop and I have that badge and I'm going to wear it proudly. GameStop. Can't stop, won't stop. GameStop. I'm going to see you tomorrow, millionaires. Peace.